unpredictably, they emerge and rapidly grow to the size of a multi-story building. Like scenes from popular films, they obliterate everything in their path. Devastating, these are not creatures from movies, but ordinary seawater. They engulf thousands of lives. What are they? Tsunamis. These killer waves form suddenly when seawater gathers immense strength. So, how can you recognize this imminent threat? In the open ocean, tsunamis are typically only a meter high, but their length spans from 100 to 200 kilometers. That's at least a thousand times larger than regular waves. But what causes the sudden fury of the elements? The term tsunami in Japanese means wave in the harbor, coined by fishermen who returned to find their port destroyed. Tsunamis may not seem relevant, but their danger lies in their suddenness. So, how does the ocean produce such colossal waves? Unlike ordinary waves influenced by wind, tsunamis result from a massive underwater push, often triggered by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, explosions, or asteroid impacts. In 88% of cases, seismic activity is the main culprit. Tsunamis differ from ordinary waves as they pass through the water, not just on top of it. 95% of a tsunami's life cycle is invisible, only revealing itself at the surface towards the end. The driving energy is seismic, making tsunamis unavoidable. The shift in lithospheric plates during an earthquake, typically reaching eight points, ensures the inevitable occurrence of a tsunami. As part of the sea floor rises while another drops, the ocean initiates a vertical oscillation, launching a series of waves. If a ship sits above the earthquake's center, it's safe, with waves beating its side at approximately half a meter. However, in the depths of the ocean, a different story unfolds.